It's a wrap. I'm Lisa Blackwell, and this is Vegas Bamacue style. And we're going big, so big, that we've got 85 cook teams from 12 states competing in the largest SEA steak cook-off competition in Vegas history. Hey, Jamie, you're about to pick your second steak. What are you looking for? I want to find one with some good marbling. I really love trout hearts. Can you flip this one over, please? I like that one because the marbling in here is a trout mm -hmm. heart and it's got the striations around the spinalis. And you know you only get 30 seconds to do this, so I you know, don't get a lot of time. It's the fastest 30 seconds in the world. <laughs> hey, so we're out here in Vegas, and I ran into Anthony here, and it's pretty sunny, and we both got the same glasses here, huh? Yeah, we might as well yeah. just protect the eyes and look good while That's we do right. it. That's right. How's it going for you it's so been far? It's good. We just got done with steak selection. Now it's trimming and getting ready. And How'd you like what you got? I'm very happy with what I got. Maybe we'll get some good luck? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey John. Hey, what's going on? Tell me, what's the Arcus Hippocampo for this one? Oh, I'm going to tell you, we're putting together a monster burger, as yes. you know, doing this brand new bowl that we've got that's coming out. Big yeah. red beef, hottie toddy climax, and going to top it off with a little barbecue sauce. This stuff is delicious, uh, by the way. Yeah, we drank it, it by the bottle. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shot it last time. Yeah, we did. Orange Beach. Orange Beach mm. shots on the beach. It shot was fun. Yeah, that yeah. was yep. good. So we're building a kind of a bacon, macaroni and cheese, uh, all, everything you can think of, but the kitchen sink is going to be on this burger. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and for this, you can do anything you want, right? No limit on the monster burger. Yeah. Yep. So what do you think about the event so far? Great event. We did a class here yesterday. You know, it's kind of tough. You teach classes all over the world, and then the people that you teach classes to beat you the next time out. But um, it's going to be a fun time to see who wins. That's what happens, that's you know, because then everybody's driven to be the teacher. That, so, you that's know, right, I mean. and there's some great, great cooks out here, and we're excited to be here with Bama Q. Today, we're creating the Monster Burger in Vegas. And, I mean, go big or go home. We got 10 minutes to turn ins and I just now got our burgers put on here. So it's gonna be a rush to the finish. We're definitely cooking hot and fast today. Uh, my luggage got stuck, uh, I guess, in the um, in the tire of the tram somehow or another, and it completely ate the whole side of my bag. It was a hole, a hole there. It ate all my clothes. Oh, we didn't have a grill either. So uh, this wonderful, awesome team over here. Utah Barbecue Utah Company. Utah Barbecue Company. Yeah. Amanda walked over there and the guy was just like, like hey, we got one right here, brand new. This is the first time it's even had charcoal in it. I mean, that's awesome. Now we're ready. Go for it. Does it look okay? Yeah. You gonna stay up by itself? No. I think we're good. Well, so I was walking around and I saw this unbelievable monster burger over here. And it looks like you guys took it literally for Monster Burger. It looks like a monster. Tell me about your burger here. Well, it's about four pounds of burger. Yep, and your pickle, you got a tongue here. You cut your cheese to look kind of like teeth. And it's got pepper jack cheese actually on the burger. Oh, mm, I'm in. And of okay. course, I usually come wearing pigtails or fun buns, so I had to give my Monster Burger pigtails. And, and what do you use for the pigtails here? Is that like ham. turkey? Oh, ham. That is really cool. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Okay. We're making the Monster version of our pineapple pork burger with our Havana heat uh, sauce on it. So I'm taking basically one pound pork patties, putting our mojo rub on it. We're gonna grill those off. Billy's over there making some candied bacon right now. And we're gonna have some good gooey cheese to melt into it. Uh, grilled and, pineapple. And grilled pineapple as well. Hey 
Riley. How are you hey. doing? Good. How are you? You know, I've been walking around here and I see that there are people that are using your rubs and winning. Yes, sir. How does that feel, having people competing and winning with your rubs? It's really awesome to see how the growth has been over the past few years. Because at first it was just me and my parents and then now I've come all the way to Nevada and there's people using it out here. So it's just really cool to feel like and people yeah. are placing with it and everything. So it's good, I feel it's really good. Have you been here before? This is my first time in Nevada, but it's been it's been pretty cool. I mean, we've done a lot of stuff. We've gone through a bunch of the hotels and then down the strip some. Yeah, and you had some really good luck, right? I did. You got some proof back here, right? I this do. Is this Tell us about this. I can't gamble, so I wanted to do something. So we went to the Arcade of Circus Circus and we spent like $100 just trying to win one of those stuffed animals. <laughs> Well, I know that you turned in a monster burger, which yes. looked amazing. Thank you. And how was that, putting that together? It wasn't horrible, but we came up with the idea this morning, walking through the grocery store. Last so, minute. Just completely thrown together. Yeah. And you used your seasoning on it. Yes, I used my Fiesta Very rub. creative, right, because it had more of a Southwest yes, kind of theme Yes, it did. It was kind it. of more like a tech, tech mix, I guess, mm -hmm. like but with burger. Yeah. So I know you got some steaks coming up. Good luck on those. Thank you. <laughs> And the winner is... Can you do the lip thing? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I love my mama. I love my mama. I, I really my, love my I mama. I love my mistake, medium rare. And I like a peanut butter and banana sandwich. <laughs> banana sandwich. <laughs> Ain't that right? Viva Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> Running a little practice run here. See how they cook out here out west. We get uh we get two steaks, you know, and oh, uh, I cook a first one, get my timing down, cause you know depending on the steak, the marbling quality, all steaks not gonna cook the same every time. So we run a practice run. We'll cut into it, you know, temp it, taste it, texture, see what everything feels like, and make adjustments for when we go to do our turn in. Who in the world? That is brown sugar bourbon. Somebody, Morgan, did you put this over here? Yeah, it's a gift. We were. Um, you were. Did, okay, awesome. <laughs> we may have to do some baking with it. That's right. Because I know it's no good to drink. That's right. Just, just for cooking with. You try that for me. Hey, man, I will. God, look here. You caught that right in time. Now, what do you call this? A hamburger. A hamburger from where? From Glendale, Arizona. Glendale, Arizona. <laughs> That's a good burger, my friend. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, in Hawaii, they say aloha, but today we're going to say mahalo to Mahalo Barbecue from Central California. Yes. What made you decide to come here today? You know what? When we heard that barbecue was involved with this uh, <laughs> cook, we thought, you know what? It's going to be great because we, we love watching barbecue. Probably watch a steak one about six times each episode. Oh, wow. So, I mean, it just... Wow. So you feel like you get some tips from the show or oh, what do you like most always. about it? Yeah. Uh, tips. Uh, I just really like seeing the uh, interaction of, of the teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to meet some of the team members. Amazing, amazing, amazing guys. And, and Riley was there. When I first started barbecuing and getting into competition, I thought, you know what? I want a hobby that... When you smell barbecue smoke, you could never be in a bad mood. Now, are you competing in both steaks or just A or both B? Both steaks, okay. uh, but not the burger. Thank you guys for being down here. Well, good luck today. I'm going to lift this up, okay? Thank you very we'll much. We'll talk to you later. Hello. Well, here's the team. Whoa! Ah! I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Take two. Okay. Well, here's a team that came from really far away. Scott and Lindsay McDonald are from Connecticut. Yes. Wow, what Hello. possessed you guys to come all the way here to Vegas well, to cook? 
There's nothing else to do on Super Bowl weekend. I'm going to travel all the way across the country to cook steak in a parking lot. <laughs> right, well, right, right. We, um, as a team, we do some travel cooking. You know, there's uh, only a few cooks in our general area. Usually it's a five, six hour drive. And we decided sometimes flying is even more fun than driving. So here we are. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of friends here. I mean, you guys know a lot of them. And uh, what better yep. thing to do than come out and cook with them and have some fun in Vegas. So are you doing the double steak? Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to catch up to her because she's putting a whooping on me. So <laughs> um, we, okay. we compete with each other, but against each other. And yes. so okay. far she's winning. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at you. <laughs> And you didn't want to do the talking, but no. you. <laughs> I'll do the winning. She does the I'll winning. Do the talking. <laughs> I right. talk big and she puts out, so that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna check back with you later. Perfect. But good luck. Thank okay. You. This month. Appreciate All right. It. See All you right. later. Thank you. So we turned in burgers already. Now we're getting ready to turn in our beef steaks. At a minute and a half per side, and keep your grill grates clean. We want to keep the judges happy. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta cook how the judges would like to eat it, only because I like my steaks medium, uh, rare, and they, they like theirs medium. Flavor profile, it should be a little savory. Um, I feel like garlic, uh, salt, pepper, you know, those are all key ingredients. I do the garlic butter with a little bit of thyme at the end, and that's my finish. Why not, right? <laughs> it got me to the finals. <laughs> it must be working. <laughs> This competition actually is one of the bigger state competitions I've been to. Besides this in the shed that was in Mississippi, so these are like almost like KCBS size now. So it, it's really a good practice if you're going to, with your golden ticket to the finals. So if you want to get into the top 10, you definitely want to practice with the big boys to make sure if there's any twerking you need to do, you do it here so then you could get to the finals and win that thing, baby. <laughs> All right, so Sunny, you're on steak A right now? Yes. And how's it going with the steak? Good, mine's resting. Jeff is cooking his currently. When he's done, I'll throw mine on. How do you feel about being out here competing against like 80 some cooks? I love it. Teams? I love the bigger ones. I love to get to see people that I remember and I love the bigger comps. Like it just brings us more together as a family rather than just 20 people. And you don't have any kids with you right now. No, that's weird. <laughs> it's been like a year because normally we have all four girls competing with us. Right, yeah. right. So you're on your own. That's a little bit different. It is very different. And I didn't do any ancillaries today. So that's different. So I wow. had a lot of downtime. <laughs> yeah, really. What, what you been doing? Steak? <laughs> out here with about 85 or so teams. How does that feel to be out here cooking with this many teams? Largest event in the Vegas area. You know what, Lisa, just the atmosphere here, uh, getting to meet our West Coast team in person is great. Weather's great. Cooking a steak in the parking lot today couldn't be better with Bama Q, b, b charcoal, right? Mm -hmm. I take the philosophy of when, you know, when I sit my box down, I'm done and I wish them the best. And you know, you've seen this throughout the SCA. Uh, this is one big family, and if one is not doing well, the others are, and they pick us up, and that's what it's all about, yeah. Do you think that there's a little bit different taste profile here being on the West Coast, close to the West Coast? Well, you know, Lisa, the philosophy that we've taken, John and I have with our products, is that it's a blend. Uh, it's a great blend that can go anywhere. The Layerology 101 is at work right here in this tent for sure. I'm here with John Bolton. You're from California. You're a part of Team Arcissippi. I right? am. Is this your first time cooking in a BAMQ event? It, it is, is it? my first BAMQ event. What do you think about that? I think it's fantastic. I've heard all about them. I, I was in Tennessee for a long time, but never got down into uh, Alabama and the region that you all are. So came out, had to come all the way to San Jose, California and Las Vegas to cook in a Bama Q event. Have grill wheel travel. Yeah, absolutely. So you take your grill with you then? I do. I have a big, uh, a big catcher's equipment bag. 
that, you know, I, I don't use a little C4. I take this PK with me in a big catcher's equipment bag and wow, you put it check underneath. it right on the plane. Wow. Oh, I, I got to check it. It's like 65, 70 pounds. So, so when you see the baggage section where it says oversized that's luggage, me. Or that's you. That's me. <laughs> okay. Um, we are out here to do the BAMQ steak throw down, roll the dice. I just flip my steak. I do a minute 27 on each side of the steak. I get grill marks. So right now, she's sitting on a riser rack and it's about 115 degrees I wanna take. I'm gonna try to shoot for 136. So usually I do a practice steak, but I cook with my buddy here, Justin. He's part of your behind barbecue too. Um, he usually will do the practice steaks cause I like to get pretty big time in the ancillaries. So we had to build a monster burger. So then now we had to prep the steak, get the steak ready to go. So it was a lot of, a lot of going, but usually, yes, I would cook my practice steak. So I'm gonna remove my string and I'm gonna make sure I left no pins, nothing crazy inside that thing. Cause I don't want to get DQ'd again. I like to shoot for turning in dead, dead last. I use different flavors on my steak. So everybody's kind of the same, real salty, salty. And then they're going to hit mine and mine's a different taste. So hopefully that tells them, oh man, damn, that's better. It doesn't taste the same. You know, I like this better, so they score me higher. Hopefully, that's my logic. Is it gonna work? I have no idea. We'll see. Now, my little good luck trick. Kiss the top of the box. You wanna do like a dance too? Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, Phil, you wanna join me in a dance? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I got bad knees. So do I. Do your dance. It's a Viva Las Vegas. Do your dance, do your dance. Viva Las Vegas. Move your, move your <laughs> I can't move this. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs>
You won the Monster Burger category. Let's go. Let's Tell go. me what was in that burger. I want to know. <laughs> there was there was 38 patties, two beef short ribs, the plate ribs that are about this big, yeah. dinosaur bone, whatever they call. Two of those. Um, and a bunch of tater tots. <laughs> I'll tell you, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And your thank presentation you. and everything. So, yeah. how excited are you? You put this all together yes. and you won the Monster Burger. I'm category. jacked up about it. I I woke up, I had a vision, and I was like, I think I could do it. Okay, you guys were coming to town, and I just knew we had to kill it. Yeah, we had to, we had to stand out. Well, you did it. Yeah, congratulations. We tried. We tried. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bet. Okay. So you got first in steak A, and you got a golden ticket. How excited are you? Uh, so excited. More excited about this trophy. I mean, want one of these forever. They're really nice, aren't they? They are I nice. Mean, They're my favorite in the yeah. OSCA. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get it home, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's right, because you guys flew. Right. We'll figure it out. It's a trophy, right? Right. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Belma Q. <laughs> So, Phil, you got first place in steak beef, yes. right? And you got eighth place in burger. Yes. How excited are you about I this? I am excited. And I got my golden ticket in the beginning of the year. Yes. <laughs> what more can you ask for? You're done for the year, yeah, right? That's it. I might take off. <laughs> no way. I'm still going out here. Okay. You know, I'm not copying any traditional recipes. Oh it's my own freestyle flavor. I guess that's why they call me the Jay-Z of barbecue. I guess so. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> We had a lot of cooks that turned out to roll the dice, and a few of them got lucky. But that's the magic of Vegas. You win some, and you lose some. But we know that these cooks can take a loss and keep on competing. So we'll see you next time on Bamacure.